Hi guys, Reno here from Remax First in Calabria with Michael, Jan and Dan. We're uh, four of the sales guys from the office here ourselves and just touching base to give you a little rundown on the market as we see it as at March, April 2022. I'll hand over to you Dan, you're a stats man, you see a lot of things happening yeah, locally. Absolutely. Oh, look. I guess I'm about what you guys are finding, but the market's the market's holding in there. I think uh, you know there's a lot of talk of everything affecting the market around you know with the war fuel prices. There's always excuses, but yeah. I think in general the market uh, probably a good word for it is inconsistent. You find one week everything's going really well, uh, and the next week quiet weekend of open homes. Next weekend it's busy again. So to me it's it's more an inconsistent market, but the prices are still up there. I guess the motivate the motivated buyers are just a little bit slower to to react. Uh, and that's sort of my take on it. Yeah, I kind of feel the same way. And in my area, people are, uh, the, the serious buyers are still around. Mm. They're still looking, they've still got the good dollars. Um, they're just a little bit more um, cautious cautious in, in jumping jumping into the water. Mm. Uh, but they still are. I mean, last weekend, the one just left, uh, what about five contracts yep. over the weekend. So to me, yep. that's great. So. The market is still going strong, mm. still yeah. going strong. And uh, I was talking to some people down in uh, Brisbane today, and he said that he put his two houses on the market, first open home on Saturday, both sold. And, um, and he's, he's moving up here to the sunny coast. Mm. So Best part of the world. It yeah. is, yeah, mm. so I think the market is uh, very good. Jen, what's your thoughts? Yeah, well, my thoughts are that um, <coughs> despite what we're hearing about, uh, there are reports Sydney and Melbourne um, prices are dropping a bit, but that's certainly not happening yet in Brisbane and the Sunshine Coast. Yep. Um, I'm getting quite a few people ringing me to appraise their properties because they're sort of thinking, well, it's still a good time to put, put the houses on the market. Mm. Um, and um, yeah, just a little bit concerned that maybe down the track it might sort of drop off a bit, but at this stage we're still pretty concerned. Well, there's, mm. there's not a lot on the market at the moment, really, competition-wise. No, really. So, mm. you know, if, if people are, are, are thinking of selling, mm. um, I'd say do it now. Yep. Yeah. Do it now because we know what the market is today. We don't know what it's going to be. Yeah. Two weeks, three weeks. It is. Weeks a, it is a good time to sell. I mean, I know in my own area, of Battery Hill, the last three-month rolling period at the end of last month, there was there was 23 settlements, but. A three month rolling period a month later there's only seven right. so there was a lot of settlements toward the end of the year and there hasn't yeah. been a lot happening this year yeah. um, so you know and, and maybe that's a reflection of the suburbs as well so so all in all uh, you can see that there's still uh, the Brisbane and Sunshine Coast market in particular is very very strong yep. still yep. there are some signs that of a definite leveling off in the marketplace later this year and no doubt interest rates will have a uh, uh, factor in that uh, but overall still a positive 